everybody, I'm Jason from Fuzzlord Effects, and today we're checking out three different guitars that have aluminum necks on them. So the first guitar we're checking out is the Illuminati Guitars Nebula DX. This one's got a hollow core aluminum neck and a chambered lucite body running Lawler Imperial humbucker pickups. The second guitar we're checking out is a JML Guitars JC6 that has an aluminum neck on it from Obscura MFG. That guitar has the same exact Lawler Imperial pickups in it. The third guitar we're checking out is a PVT60 with an electrical guitar company aluminum neck on it. And that guitar is running a set of Gibson 490 humbuckers. We're gonna check out some clean riffs with all three of these guitars so you can hear what they sound like compared to each other. We're also gonna run them to an overdriven amp and then check out some pedals and then also hear it in a live mix. So we're starting right now, don't go anywhere, but before we do, be sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of the weekly gear related videos that we put out. So let's talk about the signal chain before we get started playing some riffs. All of these guitars today are running into a Fuzzlord FTW45 amplifier. It's based on the classic Fender Bassman and mixed in with a little bit of the JTM45. So it takes pedals well, got a bit of headroom, but it has a nice overdrive breakup characteristic to it. And then we're running into an Emperor 1x12, 1x15 GT cabinet. We're miking that up with a pair of SM57s. If you want to know more details about all the gear that we're using in this video, check out the description below. So why don't you drop a comment below and let me know what your first impressions are of the way these three different guitars sound compared to each other. The Illuminati guitar has a hollow core neck and a chambered body, so it feels and sounds a bit different to my ears. The PBT-60 is a massive guitar that's like a boat anchor, really heavy. And the JML JC-6 on like my first impressions is that the neck and the body are very responsive to the way you play and it has a really nice neck angle on it. So in that last little section of demos that we just heard, all of the guitars were running through the Fuzzlord Darkmaster for a little bit of echo. In this next clip, we're gonna be running all of these guitars right into the FTW45 and cranking up the gain a little bit so we can hear how these guitars sound different driving an amp that has a little bit of breakup. <laughs>
So one of the things I really like about the JML JC6 is that it has a little bit of kickback angle on the neck. That's because when I contacted JML, I wanted a guitar that was as close as possible as it could be to my first act DC6. So the idea behind that guitar was to make a clone of that with an aluminum neck, and he even got the neck angle right on it. So that's one of those things that makes that guitar feel quite a bit different than the other ones that are like the Fender style, zero degree neck angle. The other interesting thing about the JML Obscura build is that the body is made of a solid piece of walnut. So a pretty heavy guitar that has a really nice feel and good sustain, especially with the strings passing through the body. If you wanna know exact details about all of these guitars and how much they weigh compared to each other, check out the description below. So in this next round of demos, we're gonna be checking out all three guitars through a fuzz pedal. Today, we're gonna to be playing the Does It Doom Sabathi Fuzz, which is based off of the classic Boss Hyper Fuzz. So really good for that Electric Wizard style sound. Let's go ahead and see what these three guitars sound like through an Octa Fuzz. All right, so I'm curious to know what you thought of the guitars run through a fuzz pedal. Drop a comment below and let me know how they sounded different from each other and which one was your favorite. In this next clip, we're gonna be running the Fuzz Lord FET 120. This is based off the classic orange OR120 series amplifiers, and it has a really nice overdrive and like a tight distortion sound to it. All right, let's check out this next round of demos with the FET 120. All right, so today we got to hear the Illuminati Nebula DX, the JML JC6 with an Obscura MFG neck on it, and an electrical guitar company 
neck on a PVT60. Drop a comment below, let me know what you thought of each of them. Let me just share with you my thoughts about these three different guitars. The Illuminati Nebula DX has a very specific feel and sound because it has a hollow lucite body and a hollow core aluminum neck. So it feels more like a hollow body or an acoustic guitar when you play it. You feel a lot of resonation through the body. And it has a very specific kind of tonality to it too. It's pretty focused in the mid-range. The JML JC6 with the walnut body, the Obscura MFG neck, is very responsive feeling. Like it's very snappy when you play it and I think it's very tight sounding. The neck on it is extremely thin. Obscura MFG necks are very thin and they feel amazing. Especially with the brass nut and just like the really cool headstock, it is one of my favorite aluminum guitar necks out there. PBT60, classic guitar, really heavy, really heavy sounding, especially with the EGC neck on it. It's one of my favorite guitars, it's got a custom paint job, and it was the first guitar with an aluminum neck that I ever got, and it's one that I plan on keeping for a really long time. I'm Jason from Fuzzlord Effects. If you wanna keep up with me on a daily, check out the Instagram page, at Fuzzlord Effects, or head over to fuzzlordeffects.com to check out more pedals, more videos, more merch, like this t-shirt right here with artwork from Steven Yoyada. Uh, it's also available right below this video. I also wanna give a big thank you to all of the Patreon supporters whose names we're running on the screen right now. All of you people really make this channel possible and I appreciate each and every one of you. If you wanna know more about supporting this channel and getting behind the scenes videos, early access to videos, and early access to pedal releases, check out the description of this video to get a link to our Patreon page. Last thing before we wrap it up, I want to give a big thank you to all of our producer level Patreon supporters. So Illuminati Guitars, really appreciate you. Jeremy Hansen, appreciate you supporting the channel. David Zeigler, thanks again. Veyu Slavic, thank you. And Steve from Does It Doom, thanks for supporting this channel. All of you folks are really making this channel possible. Again, I'm Jason from Fuzzlord Effects. Until next week, I look forward to talking to everybody in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the weekly content we put out or live feeds. And until next video, I uh, hope you have a good week.